Hi, so you've set up your company within auto entry. We've clicked into the company itself. You have a big bunch of bank statements or credit card statements, either in a PDF or actual physical paper statements that you need to get an extraction on, or you need to get that data into your accounts package. The bank statement folder within auto entry handles all of your bank and credit card statements, whether in PDF format or plain paper. If they're paper, simply run them through a scanner clicking on upload and we can upload that file directly into auto entry. When we open the upload window for our bank and credit card statements, we do have stricter scanner settings, recommended 300 DPI and grayscale, fairly standard setting for any scanner. Auto entry will reject any statements that are uploaded in black and white. The extraction of the characters on the page is too difficult when they're actually scanned in black and white, so they will reject them for black and white. We do have full scanner settings. If you happen to have one of the large scanners that we have in our office here, where there's multiple settings that can be made, there's full details under that link. But for the majority of scanners, 300 DPI and grayscale, it's fairly standard settings that are available. Once you've scanned your documents, you can of course simply drag and drop or browse your PC for the files you want to upload but also you can upload them to individual projects. And with a project, essentially it's like a separate folder within the bank statement folder itself that you can upload individual documents to that you don't want to be amalgamated or added on to any previous extraction for this particular account that you're working on. Simply clicking on the drop down, you can select any previous projects you want to upload these files to, or indeed you can add a new project. For example, we have March 19 here, any documents uploaded to that particular project will be kept separate from any previous uploads from the same bank account. If we upload everything to 2015 historical, as you upload more and more documents, auto entry will simply add the most recent upload to the end of any previous extraction we've done for that bank account. Auto entry will split everything out per bank account as well. Just like our invoices and supplier statements, there's an upload queue. We'll show you how the files are uploading. And once the upload is complete, we can click on the close button to close this window down. If it's a particularly large file or you've a slower upload on your internet, you can of course click browse auto entry, opens auto entry in a new tab, allowing you to work away within auto entry while this window remains open until the upload completes. Once uploaded, they then go through our processes. We do the full extraction on them and we verify the figures before we're turning them back to you. And they then arrive into your inbox, just like all our other folders. Clicking into the inbox, slightly different view here. We start off on the left-hand side with the project itself. And as I said, you, we will separate out multiple uploads into the same project per account number. So if you've multiple bank accounts uploaded together into the same project, we will separate them down per account number. You can edit the name of the project here if you wish. And of course you can delete the whole project. One thing to note within auto entry, once you've deleted a project or deleted any bank statements, they are permanently deleted from our system. We don't have a grace period to reclaim those documents for you. We can see the last time this particular project was updated, the last time we uploaded any statements to it. We can obviously view the actual extraction itself. We'll see the account number where available, the option to download the data, the date range of the statements that have been uploaded, and a field here for any notes. So if there was any missing pages in the statements that were uploaded, or indeed if there was any errors with the statements, if a page couldn't be read due to scanner quality or blurred images, it'll be noted here as well. The great thing with auto entry though, specifically if you maybe run 30 pages through the scanner and the scanner sucks through two pages at once, so it has missed one of the pages, we'll highlight it here. All you need to do is scan that one page, upload it to the same project, auto entry will automatically fill the gap for you. So there's no copy and pasting or anything to be done afterwards. You do have the option to download all of the files that have been uploaded to this project. We'll show you how many pages have been extracted or uploaded. And you do also have the option to delete data per account. So where there is multiple accounts, there is a trash can to delete the information for that specific account at any stage. If we click in to view the actual statements themselves, we'll see on the left-hand side, the full extraction that has been made. We have the transaction date, details, debit or credit, running balance, and column for check numbers where present. 
And of course, we have the in statement image on the right hand side. You do have your navigation buttons, just like our invoices, that you can navigate or zoom in and out of the actual statements themselves. If there's multiple files uploaded to the project, you can, of course, view each individual file. And again, we can delete the data here. There's no editing or changing of the figures or any of the data within the statement extraction itself. Auto Entry does verify these figures before returning them back to you. So once it's been returned, all we need to do, either to export to an Excel spreadsheet as standard, or if you're looking to import it into your accounts package, clicking on the download button and selecting the accounts package that you're working with. For example, with Zero UK, it's a specific formatted file type just for Zero UK. We have similar, obviously, for Sage, for QuickBooks, or any of the other packages that are there. So again, there's no user intervention when you're importing that data into your accounts package. It's pre-mapped, pre-formatted for that specific package. We'd always recommend not opening the file beforehand because if you have any local settings on your PC for Excel, it'll open in Excel and then assume those settings. So when you try to import it into your accounts package, there can be a failure due to formatting issues. At the top, of course, we do have standard CSV and Excel type formats as well. Across the top, we have our normal folders available. The activity page will show you everything that has been uploaded. The rejected page will show you anything that has been rejected and the reason why it has re been rejected. Most common is for black and white scans, as I mentioned, they will be rejected straight away. But also if there's multiple pen marks or a large amount of handwriting on the statement itself, certainly if it's touching or if it's close to any of the data auto entry is trying to extract, they will be rejected as well. And again, just like our other folders, we do have a separate video covering your people or your user access. You can click on this tab and it'll show you the users who have access to this specific folder within this company. And that's an overview of our bank statement folder. Very quick and easy, uploading through the website, either your PDF download from online banking or indeed a PDF scan of your paper documents. Once processed, they're in your inbox for you to download and import into your accounts package. The activity page shows you everything that has been uploaded and whether or not it is complete. Rejected page for anything auto entry couldn't process. And again, the people tab for showing you users who have access to this folder. And that's an overview of our bank statement folder. Thank you very much.